I know that a lot of people have injuries, but they're scared to then do certain things just in case that injury comes back. So for example, for me, I rolled my ankle pretty bad and I didn't want to kind of go in to where there's lots of people just in case I step on someone's foot again and roll it again. How, if you can anyway, give any advice on how we can get mentally prepared and mentally stable to allow us to go back to how we were? Research said, and I, I taught a whole course actually on this injury prevention some time ago. And actually, I mean, it, many athletes, most of the research is about lower limb injury because actually that's the most common research uh, that's easy to do relatively. So in football and all sorts of other sports, the knees, the ankles, they're the common place to get injuries right. most often. Um, so there's plenty of research on it. But still, how you kind of get the mindset right, what the research also said is that beginning of season, or after an injury is your most likely time to injure yourself again. Right. Yeah, the first time back, you know, because one is in the head not prepared and confidence may or may not be correlated to the actual weakness in your body. So, so what we do with some tests is I use a set of various weight bearing tests, squats and lunges, but assessed on a particular benchmark model. So what I look at is I look at with your injury, how are you actually able to weight bear doing an increasing set of slightly more awkward, slightly more balanced, looking for your coordination, looking for your control, looking for your fatigue through different ranges of movement to see really where you start to falter. Yeah, that may not be pain, but it's where you start to feel not quite right. And then we look at what the components are around that that might be driving it. So, and then we say, well, look, if I can go through a full range of tests with you, yeah, and yeah. put quite a reasonable amount of stress, it's not a full game, but it's still a certain amount of stress on you to actually see how you're physically performing, then I can see that you might be, say, overcompensating more than you need to. And actually your body's behaving like it's recently injured when it isn't. So the way it looks, it shows you're holding the injury in your mind and, and it's reflected in your body, if that makes sense. Yeah. So yeah. what you need to do is look at those imbalances and try and restore your confidence. So you're using, say, both limbs evenly again. Yeah, both knees evenly again. And once we get that evenness back, we need to give you exercise to actually not strengthen and work on the injured side, but sometimes to work on the opposite side of your body to actually improve the way that's helping you get your balance back. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that's the kind of way. So once you've then got your balance and coordination back and you've gone through these processes of kind of building up your strength, you then do need to try out and actually see with a bit more confidence then what you should yeah. be able to achieve. And you need to do some practice sessions and you need to do some shorter sort of workouts in a sense within within the frame to see what you can do to get confidence back it has to be confidence and it has to be done in that manner um and then we review again once you've played a couple of times what's your body picked up from that more high intense exercise yeah yeah so what happens is you pop back we have a look at how you're working again i'm saying well compared to before you're not your weight very much more evenly than you were before so you've actually started to improve your reliance on your body and it's going in the right direction Mm -hmm. If we see it's going still more in the wrong direction, not just because of pain, but because of what we can see, that might mean we need a further investigation to say, well, we need an x-ray or a scan, or you need further investigation to see if there's something still underlying that isn't resolving. Oh.